What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the more recently released mobile games and some upcoming ones that are just around the corner. So let's start this video off with the more recently released Wizardry Variants Daphne. Now this one came out just a couple of weeks ago. This is gonna be your classic dungeon crawler RPG with challenging gameplay, that retro feel, which believe it or not is right up my alley. Unfortunately for FG, I have not been able to play this one because this game literally blocks my red magic from downloading it, dude. So I couldn't even play the game. What about that Samsung FG? Dude, I had to give that back. <laughs> so, so all I have is my red magic. So I can't even play this game because like I said, um, I feel like sometimes there's some games out there that block Chinese hardware. And if you guys don't know about red magic, it's a Chinese hardware phone. So I think that's what's going on. So I'm not going to be able to play this one, but hopefully you guys are enjoying Wizardry Variants Daphne. Today's video is brought to you by Kabam and King Arthur Legends Rise. King Arthur Legends Rise is a brand new squad based RPG built on the Unreal Engine. In King Arthur Legends Rise, you'll take on Arthurian quests, forge mythical weapons as you rebuild the kingdom of Camelot, all freely cross played between mobile as well as PC. Pre registration is now available and you don't want to miss out. Kabam and King Arthur Legends Rise has also released a brand new trailer. Let's check it out. A broken kingdom in need of a king. Besieged by monsters and madmen who threaten to resurrect dark gods. But a dangerous pact with an ancient blade could save this realm from destruction and be willing to sacrifice all that you hold dear to win a war for the future of humanity. You have been chosen to bring together allies and enemies. You will be tested. But you are not alone. Excalibur calls. Will you answer? Next up on the list that just came out yesterday is called Lord of Nazareth, based on the Overlord anime and brought to you by Crunchyroll. So everything that you know about IP-based cash grabs, go ahead and multiply it by four because Crunchyroll is here. But I'm gonna hold some of my judgment. I'm still playing it. My first impressions will be coming in the next couple of days. But I will say this. The game has a pay to win leaderboard. <laughs> like whoever pays to win the most gets a reward. So I, I, I don't know, man. It looks like this game is fully crunchy rolled out, but I will hold my judgment. We'll be playing this one a little bit more and first impressions are on the way. The next game on this list that's already released and ready to play is gonna be Pokemon TCG Pocket. This is a brand new trading card game, obviously based on Pokemon. And unlike a lot of other trading card games out there, this one's not gonna be anywhere near as complicated. This one honestly is gonna be right up the alley of a lot of gotcha players out there you can really just play this game as a side game right um as your stamina builds up you can use that stamina to open up card packs so a lot of people i've already noticed are kind of playing this game more like a side game right where they just log in they burn their stamina they open up some packs they get some of their favorite pokemon and they call it a day for the other players out there that want to take it to another level you also have pokemon battling as well so pokemon tcg pocket now available starseed Aston trigger is the next game and the final game on this list that you you should be able to play by the recording of this video. This one's brought to you by com to us which has been very, I, I was about to say hit or miss, mostly miss, right? Like since Summoner's Wars, this company has been miss after miss after miss. Hopefully this one bucks the trend with this brand new IP. Hopefully they put some effort behind it. I will say as far as like the character designs, I haven't been wowed yet. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully this one kind of breaks that curse that this company has been going through since Summoner's Wars. Grand Saga almost made its global debut but it did get pushed back so we will be playing this one on november the 6th but this is an anime style mmorpg that has been a long time coming we've been waiting for this game for so long it's hard to imagine that this game is going to live up to the height especially considering how dated it already looks and probably feels but once again i'll be holding my judgment i want to play the game myself i've never played this game ever so i'll be looking forward to playing it so definitely looking forward to seeing what all the hype is about even though most of the hype is already kind of burned out you still got this big open 
open world, character customization, combat, Grand Saga Global, looking forward to it. JJK Phantom Parade is also on the way, brought to you by Billy Billy. Um, so, uh, I don't know, dude. This seems like it's just gonna be a run-of-the-mill IP-based cash grab, but hopefully not. Um, Billy Billy doesn't put out that many games, and the ones they do, it, it feels like they at least tried. They haven't been very successful, but they have at least tried. So, um, when this game comes out on November the 7th, I'll definitely be playing this one day one. Ash Echoes next on the list, releasing on November the 13th. Now, this game has already gone through a couple of closed betas, so chances are some of you guys out there have already played this one. I have not, so I'll be going into this one completely blind, but what I do know about this game is that it's brought to you by Neocraft, which doesn't have the best track record. Neocraft is one of those companies that puts out a bunch of copy-paste autoplay MMOs. They do have Kimono Friends, though, so that was actually a pretty good one. Tales of Wind and Kimono Friends are some of the highlights of this game company, so, you know, uh, so very hit or miss when it comes to the track record of this company, but Ash Echoes, it's a new game. Why not? Heaven Burns Red is coming out November the 15th. Now, this game has a ton of hype behind it. This game has done fantastically well over in Japan and is hoping to recreate some of that success here on the global side. Now, do keep in mind that this game is very story driven, so it's going to alienate a lot of gacha players out there just based off that alone. But for you other gacha players out there that love gachas, love collecting, and want a really robust story, Heaven Burns Red might be for you. Hayes Reverb is also coming out November the 15th. Now this game really confuses me because this game is all about a bunch of gigantic waifus. However, they decided to go with chibi graphics. Chibi graphics with my gigantic waifus, dude. I ain't never felt so betrayed. So Haze Reverb is coming out November the 15th. Definitely looking forward to it. And then last but not least, Girls Frontline 2 is coming out December the 3rd, which so happens to be FG's birthday. So definitely looking forward to the sequel to Girls Frontline. I will never forget in the history of all of my YouTube how much flack I received for doing a terrible job covering Girls Frontline. So I'm going to try my best to do a better job on Girls Frontline 2. That's going to be it. My name is FG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.